In this podcast episode, psychologist Jordan Peterson delves into the complex dynamics of human relationships, particularly focusing on the subtle signs of manipulation that often go unnoticed. Peterson explores various themes, including the nature of learning from failure, the impact of technology on communication, and the psychological traits that characterize manipulative individuals. Peterson emphasizes the importance of being open to learning, which often involves confronting uncomfortable truths about oneself. He argues that true growth comes from asking difficult questions. What am I doing wrong? What do I need to let go of? This process can be painful, but it is essential for personal development. Failure, he asserts, is not merely a setback. It is an opportunity for profound learning. Most people who experience post-traumatic stress disorder do so not because of the events they endured, but because they encountered individuals who wished to harm them. This highlights the significance of understanding the motivations behind our failures and the people involved in them. Moreover, Peterson points out that the ability to learn from failure is a crucial skill that can help individuals navigate the complexities of life. He suggests that rather than viewing failure as a definitive end, it should be seen as a stepping stone toward greater self-awareness and resilience. By embracing the lessons embedded in our failures, we can transform our experiences into valuable insights that guide our future actions. In today's digital age, Peterson discusses how technology has transformed the way we communicate, often for the worse. He notes that platforms like Twitter and Facebook have stripped away the evolved mechanisms of face-to-face -face discourse, leading to a degenerate form of communication. This shift has allowed exploitative individuals, particularly those with dark tetrad traits, narcissism, Machiavellianism, psychopathy, and sadism, to thrive in online environments. The anonymity afforded by these platforms enables bad actors to manipulate conversations and spread toxic ideologies without facing accountability. Peterson argues that the algorithms driving social media reward emotionally charged content, further exacerbating the problem. This creates a toxic environment where the most malevolent voices dominate the discourse, polarizing society and undermining meaningful dialogue. He believes that addressing this issue requires a fundamental rethinking of how we engage with technology and the structures that govern online interactions. One of the more alarming insights Peterson shares is the differential attraction of dark tetrad males to younger, more naive women. He explains that these individuals often exude confidence and charm, traits that can be misleading. The sexual revolution, while liberating in many ways, has inadvertently made women more vulnerable to predatory behaviors. Peterson emphasizes the need for women to develop a keen sense of awareness to recognize the signs of manipulation and malevolence in potential partners. He further elaborates on the psychological mechanisms that allow these dark tetrad types to camouflage their true intentions. By understanding the traits associated with these personalities, women can better equip themselves to navigate the dating landscape. Peterson stresses that awareness is the first step in protecting oneself from manipulation and emotional harm. Peterson highlights the importance of empathy in human relationships particularly in understanding the motivations of others. He notes that agreeable individuals, often characterized by high levels of empathy, may struggle to recognize malevolent intentions. This can lead to enabling manipulative behaviors, as those with dark tetrad traits often disguise themselves as victims to exploit the empathy of others. The challenge lies in balancing empathy with discernment, ensuring that one does not become a target for manipulation. Moreover, he discusses the necessity of developing a robust understanding of one's own emotional landscape. By tracking emotional responses and recognizing patterns, individuals can gain insights into their interactions with others. This self-awareness can serve as a protective mechanism against being drawn into toxic relationships, allowing for healthier connections based on mutual respect and understanding. Peterson argues that social networks play a crucial role in shaping our experiences and perceptions. He suggests that individuals should be cautious about the communities they engage with, as these groups can significantly influence one's worldview. The dynamics of social media often amplify negative behaviors, 
making it essential to cultivate positive relationships that foster growth and understanding. He also emphasizes the need for individuals to seek out environments that encourage constructive dialogue and personal development. By surrounding oneself with supportive and honest individuals, one can create a buffer against the toxic influences that pervade many online spaces. This proactive approach to social networking can lead to more fulfilling relationships and a greater sense of belonging. Identifying manipulators can be a daunting task, especially in a world where many individuals wear masks to hide their true intentions. Peterson advises that one should be vigilant about the signs of manipulation, particularly in online interactions. He suggests that anonymity often emboldens individuals to express their darker impulses, making it crucial to scrutinize the behavior of those who engage in online discourse. He also highlights the importance of understanding the psychological traits associated with manipulative individuals. By familiarizing oneself with the characteristics of the dark tetrad, individuals can develop a sharper eye for recognizing potential threats. This awareness can empower people to make informed decisions about their relationships and interactions, ultimately leading to healthier dynamics. Peterson underscores the significance of personal responsibility in the journey of self-improvement. He argues that individuals must take ownership of their actions and decisions, recognizing that they have the power to shape their own destinies. This mindset fosters resilience and encourages individuals to confront their shortcomings rather than deflect blame onto external factors. He also emphasizes that taking responsibility is not merely about acknowledging one's faults, it is about actively working to rectify them. This proactive approach to personal growth can lead to profound transformations, enabling individuals to rise above their circumstances and create meaningful lives. By embracing responsibility, one can cultivate a sense of agency that empowers them to navigate life's challenges with confidence. Peterson warns against the pitfalls of false compassion, which can often lead to enabling destructive behaviors. He argues that while empathy is essential, it must be tempered with discernment. Individuals who are overly agreeable may find themselves unwittingly supporting manipulative individuals, mistaking their cries for help as genuine vulnerability. He encourages listeners to cultivate a balanced approach to compassion, one that recognizes the importance of setting boundaries. By understanding that not all suffering is rooted in innocence, individuals can protect themselves from being exploited by those who seek to manipulate their goodwill. This nuanced understanding of compassion can lead to healthier relationships and a more robust sense of self. Throughout the conversation, Peterson emphasizes the critical role of ethical conduct in fostering trust and cooperation. He argues that societies thrive when individuals adhere to a shared set of moral principles, which create a foundation for meaningful interactions. This ethical framework not only benefits individuals, but also contributes to the overall health of communities. He also discusses the relationship between ethical conduct and economic prosperity. High trust societies, characterized by honesty and integrity, tend to flourish economically. By promoting ethical behavior, individuals can contribute to a more just and equitable world, ultimately benefiting themselves and future generations. Peterson highlights the transformative power of education in shaping individuals' lives. He believes that a well-rounded education should encompass not only academic knowledge, but also the development of character and ethical reasoning. By fostering critical thinking and self-awareness, educational institutions can equip individuals with the tools they need to navigate the complexities of life. He also discusses the potential of online education platforms, such as Peterson Academy, to democratize access to high-quality learning experiences. By providing resources that encourage personal growth and ethical conduct, these platforms can empower individuals to take charge of their own development and contribute positively to society. In closing, Peterson expresses optimism about the future of humanity, citing the remarkable progress made in various fields. He believes that as societies continue to evolve, there is potential for unprecedented levels of abundance and opportunity. However, he cautions that this progress must be accompanied by a commitment to ethical conduct and personal responsibility. He envisions a world where individuals are empowered 
to pursue their passions and contribute to the greater good. By fostering a culture of trust, cooperation, and ethical behavior, humanity can navigate the challenges ahead and create a brighter future for all.